can hit it on the run. <laughs> Doesn't matter. Woo, okay. 719. <laughs> you were recording. Good morning. That, right? Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. <laughs> we can do it on the run. We can just hit it live. Hey, it's time for this week in real estate with Bob Sedora. Bob and Linda Sedora for all your real estate needs. 870-405-0793. Yes, sir. Arkansas and Missouri. Yes. Yes, indeed. Yep. Linda and uh, Darlene are both licensed in Missouri. And they... Um, you know, we've, we've helped a number of people in Missouri. It, it's worked out very well for them, for us. Uh, they have that Z team going for them, and um, going to bat for them is big. Yep. Uh, it was a big year for the Z team. Uh, we did, when did she post? She posted like 16, over $16 million uh, that we helped people with. And that wasn't Bob and Linda didn't make the money. The kids didn't make that money. Don't <laughs> get, get all sideways on that. Uh, but we helped a lot of people move on to the next phase of their life and having the right home for the right time of their life. And we've been, uh, it was, the market in general has been very good. The interest rates have helped tremendously as far as getting things done. Um, people coming here from other places, as, as we've talked about before, and uh, people, not as many people leaving has been part of the thing. So listings have been the deal that you know that that's that's what we all strive for all the agents strive for that um finding good quality listings that you can help help them sell so that they can move on or downsize <clears throat> we've had a number of those this year as well where people that were out a little bit age may be catching up with them just that time of their life where they don't want to be maybe out quite in out as far yep find something here in town find something a little closer uh, a little more manageable, something where you're not spending as much time cleaning it. You know, the kids aren't there. The kids don't come with the grandkids as much to visit uh, because the grandkids are getting, they're playing soccer. They're doing different things yep. that they weren't doing. And they're done that. You know, so um, that's that's the market here. You know, that, that is most of the market. We Some people come for employment, but mostly they're coming here to change something in their life. They're coming here for quality of life. We had... A number of people that came down uh, because they wanted to get their kids out of the school systems in other places. Yeah. They wanted them to have a, a more well-rounded education and not just um, some of the nonsense that's going on in some of these big city schools. So they they heard about the schools here and uh, that that's always a big selling point for us when we're talking to people is to be able to show that and show the quality of the schools, show the I drive by that $5 million Reynolds library, and there are 12,000, 13,000 people here. They're like, really? Yeah, really. And it was paid for. Yeah. You know, yeah. you tell people there's a lot of quiet money here that you don't realize is here. Um, but people do a lot of good things here. There's a lot of um, work that gets done behind the scenes. Yep. So it's it was a it's been a good it was a good year it's been a good year now linda's going out showing today i was out with some people on saturday uh we had a couple closings last week so we're starting to you know just the start right back, back into it it's, it's a little slow right now as far as people just waiting to see what's going to happen tomorrow and the and wednesday tomorrow wednesday thursday, thursday. friday for, yeah. you know in a little bit just kind of just to reassure them that the world really didn't come to an end that we as a Life country are going to go forward and we're going to be successful as a country. Yeah. That's the deal. And once they realize, and, and it's like this every four years. I mean, we've talked oh, about yeah. this yeah. You know, yeah. over the years that we've done yeah. this. Uh, that, that, that's a very common thing where people are just, because you've been watching these commercials and he's an idiot, she's an idiot, this one does that, that one does that. And it just, it takes a toll on people. Mm -hmm. So, uh, But it's funny, you know, you got Thanksgiving, which is a stair step to Christmas, and then the whole world just kind of stops for that week. <clears throat> and then, oh well, you know, we got the inauguration coming. Look, we just kind of put everything on pause. Well, and, and it's understandable, especially <clears throat> like I say, especially this time the way the the way the election mm -hmm. process went and everything. People are just a little, you know, what's little going uneasy, on, and yeah. you know where we at as a country, and that's understandable. So. Things will come back around. Uh, it's, but it was still. I mean, we it wasn't a bad week for the middle of January. Uh, so these were homes that were purchased going into just before Christmas. 
uh, and, but people were here. People are still here. There's there's new faces in church. There's people coming down to visit. You still can still see the license, license plates. You know? Saying but, the same thing. Exactly. Those are the things that we that we see, and those are the things that I look for. And you can tell, you know, and you can tell because they're they're doing this. They're looking around, trying to see what's you know what, what stores are here. What was, is that? Was that a restaurant? What was that name on that place? Those kind of things. Um, so we we welcome them, and we uh, hope. Assimilate all of them into here, but um, then there's some new projects going in. I mean, there's some new the new senior homes going in. There's a couple new uh, housing projects that are coming in. So because people are going to be here, they're going to come here, they're going to stay, and we're here to help yep. those that are here, those that are coming, those that are going. The internet is so powerful as far as the pictures and getting that message out on the, on the houses and getting um, getting them staged properly. Linda's a licensed stager, as we've said, and she can she can work miracles. People have said when we when we get the house listed and people will go, you know, they'll, they'll be on there looking it up to see how their how it looks, and they'll be like, it never looked so good. It didn't look that good when we moved in. <laughs> I don't know if I want to sell it now. You know, we get you get these these good comments from people, and that 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 is a good thing. That that shows that we're doing our job, and and that's what we do. Um, in fact, I'm gonna I can brag a little bit. This year, the Z team, we did 91 transactions. This year, 91 transactions. Two so, a week, basically. And like I said, we're the number one team in the state of Arkansas for Century 21. Uh, we're number like number 55 in the country for Century 21. And, and a lot of these teams, quote unquote teams, they're the whole company. They're, you know, we go to the, we go to the uh, conventions, the national convention, and they've done gazillions of dollars. Well, that's not really a team. That's the whole company. And they just call themselves a team because they're looking for different things. Uh, but we've been blessed in a lot of ways with, um, with your trust, and uh, we hope to live up to that every day. That's you, know, you get up in the morning. That's what you do. Is well, who can we help today? So, like I say, Linda's going to be out doing that today. She's got some kids looking for stuff, and we'll we'll find them something. The, the, it's getting thinner and thinner as far as houses that are available, uh, but we'll we'll find them something. You know, it's, it's hard if you're going to come down from someplace else and say, "Well, I got to have a this, 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 and this." The chances of hitting yeah. five out of five are really small. Yeah, and it just it's just the market right now. Uh, but we can probably hit three of the five, and then you're going to decide. And some people may say, "Well, no, we'll, we'll keep going, and they'll go to Nashville or Springfield or whatever, and, and do something like that, and go to a bigger town." And you, so there's a trade-off for that. If you're going to go to Fayetteville, you're not getting the same quality of life that you're getting here in Mountain Home and in the Ozarks in general uh, that's that's got a lot to do with it and that's what people are looking for they're looking for that quality of life they're looking for that small town feeling feel for things but have all the things and we have that but with the hospital school system library library all of these things are just so important to quality of life for people yep. so it's been um, it's had some challenges but it's been it's been a great year I yeah, mean good um, how about some numbers this week in real estate, there were 36 new listings came on, three commercial properties, uh, 17 parcels of land, 16 homes came out in the market. They came out in the range from 549,000 to 27,000. Two of those are active contingent of the 16, so actually 14 came out. Um, there were 30 sales last week, uh, one commercial property, 12 parcels of land, 17 homes sold. They sold in a range from 290,000 down to 34,000. Average sale price last week was 134, uh, but it was still 2.4 million dollars in residential real estate closed the third week of January. Not bad. 14 properties expired. 14 had price changes. Wow. There's still 72 pendings. That number jumped. Um, we are currently at 211 homes are listed on the MLS that you can walk in and buy. That you know that are ready to go. Um, 79 in Mountain Home, 14 in Bull Shoals, 5 in Cotter. As it said, for 2020, there had been 1,277 homes that sold. Uh, the average sale price last year was 173. There were 1,753 transactions altogether. And the market did 
263.2 million dollars in this MLS. in this area in this mls i mean when you what look at the size 263 of, the million? total was 263 too now that's everything that's commercials yeah, farms that's everything. and everything but that's a huge number that's a lot of money being pumped into this economy and, and when you look at the numbers from 19 to 20 um there was 129 more homes sold last sold in 2020 than in 2019 and 2019 had been a bumper year yeah. going in so and so that's with COVID and everything else but it gives you an idea of how the economy was moving how things were going COVID struck everything came to a screeching halt obviously because nobody knew what was going on then but the the account but they kept the interest rates low and people were out they were out they were able to purchase more home and that really made a difference it made a difference in other markets for people that were coming here um, a lot of other markets are doing very well uh, if you're in New York you're kind of too bad so sad because you're they're not selling anything up there really? people are bailing out of New York faster than anything else um, and, and, I, and I read a little thing about the, the numbers being down oh the market's slowing but when you look at the actual numbers it's it's up like 19 percent wow so they was yeah okay so it's not cruising along at 30 percent like it was or you know still doing great this year coming in and um moving ahead so we're still getting visitors this time of year oh people sure people are coming people are online yeah, have, we're getting I a lot to of say online. after listening to you every monday i catch myself looking at license plates now yeah. as i'm driving yeah, I'm like, where are they yeah. Yeah. where are they yeah. yeah so yeah there's there's a lot still coming in Sure. sure and with them being able to work from home people being able to school their kids there's people that are here that their kids are still in school in mm -hmm. Schomburg or whatever you know wherever it may be because that's where they want them to graduate from yeah so there's um the technology has helped tremendously sure uh, if we could get Sunlink to work <laughs> <laughs> Get, get the it. dance of the phone. You got to cheat in the bottle. We can we get answer the phone, uh, but the the next system uh, has been just a godsend for here. Oh, and the governor's programs with the schools and getting that high speed internet to the schools and then getting it farmed out to everyone from there has just been great. So. I just wish I just I'm, this is my opinion. I just wish that people that could get in ext yeah that are on energy corporation but there's that well barrier. they will but there's well they they got to get their they're going to get their own clients first all the yeah. well the uh, netco clients yeah and then from there then they'll branch out because that's what next is a netco product that's is that's it? where it comes yeah. from is well it's from no, co-op co-op well co yeah not netco Oh, oh no! I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I apologize. You're, you're right. Not Neko. Neko's what I've got. Yeah, no, Neko's North Arkansas. Yeah, yeah. yeah. The but they do. They do. NAEC. Do the NACO North Arkansas operate, Electric Cooperative. To some places. In in some areas. Yes. yes. But they do have their own fiber to the home. Yeah. Well, that's good. That's well, Bull Shoals has got that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's right. That's good. Yeah. That'll help a lot of. But NAEC has done a great job in uh, in getting their product out and. Yeah. Um, I've it's got great. it. It's great. Yeah. 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 Can't beat it. Wow. So. Let's see. Final thoughts. Final thoughts are give my honey a call. She's at 870-405-0793. Uh, the website, as you saw, retiretoarkansas.net. It's got all the MLSs on there. You can find any home that's that's listed, any other property that's listed. Uh, give us a call. Give, that's what, This is what we do. Uh, we're here to help you out. And um, you'll be, you'll be at the end of the day, you'll be happy and that's what it's all about 870-405-0793 and like i said before you know when you when you get him you with bob and linda's door, you get two more friends added to the list that's true, <laughs> true. and sam and darlene and reese i mean it, it's it's not just the two of us i mean there's a whole there's the a five of us working it, yeah. together there's a yeah. team that are all in the same mindset everybody's on the same page and that's that's a big help for you that's a big help at calico and mountain view oh and, yeah you know marion county across the state line in missouri yep. ozark yeah, county I mean, darlene's yeah. born and raised here reese is born and raised here oh sam with the reese with, knows every rattlesnake in the country by his first for, name you know? in in, the, in that part of the, yeah. the counties yes indeed you know yeah. and then sam and i are both military relocation professionals um so we've done a great job we've helped a lot of first-time home buyers you'll be happy Phone number location again? 870-405-0793. If you call the office or you go by the office, ask for us. Ask for the Z team.
There you go. 734. Time for a break. Coming up. Missing Monday. Be right back. <laughs>